How are we doing? I'm Dennis Tatro, and this is the Morgan Mile. Today's a beautiful day, and it's one week before we do the Morgan Mile Triding Races. And we wanted to come out here and show you what the Morgan Mile was all about. Back 212 years ago, 1796, Justin Morgan and a thoroughbred raced down this very same road and made history. And next week, we're going to recreate history. We'll have Morgans trotting down this road again. And here it is, absolutely beautiful. In the state of Vermont, Brookfield. We're here at the very beginning of the road. And this road, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history. We're going to walk it a little bit and show you different details about this road and where things may have happened to over 200 years ago. So here at the beginning, this was called the Stage Road. Parallel to it runs what is now known as the Ridge Road, and it was the Ridge Road back then. But this road has been closed down in sections, and this section that's been left open is now called Morgan Mile Road. It's located in Brookfield, Vermont. And the road, if you can see this driveway right here, this driveway is the road that actually was closed down, and it continues out to where it runs into the Ridge Road. So that is the old section of the road. And on the corner is where the church used to be. And up the road is where the taverns used to be. It's my guess that they raced from the tavern down the road. Um, it's known that people used to congregate at taverns and inns and a country stores where there was four corners such as this and it was at those meeting places that these drop of a hat races would take place for a bottle of rum, a gallon of rum, or whatever the wages used to be. At that time a gallon of rum was probably the most popular thing. But this road extends for a little more than the mile. Um, they used to race 80 rods on this road like we'll be racing and it will be a line drawn across the road and this will be the finish line. Right here is where the horses will finish, and they will overrun into the driveway, which is still actually the road back then. Um, and you'll get to see it on videotape next week. And this, again, I'll explain it. This was the stage road, and the road that runs parallel here is the ridge road. And this stage road extended down through and wide into the ridge road. And this is where they raced. This was the basic road right here. And I'm sure back 212 years ago, it was much narrower. I'm sure there were trees overhanging and, and uh, they only raced two horses at a time because the road was so narrow. Today, the road is much wider and they use, they use gravel. So instead of full out races, next weekend we'll be doing trotting races because a full out race would be very difficult on a horse's feet on today's roads and the gravel. But when we get here, there will be nothing but excitement. There will be people in this field right here. There will be horse trailers. People will be lining the road to watch these races. There will be people with cameras, video cameras. There may be television stations. Who knows who will be here. But um, the excitement will build. It will be just like it was 200 years ago when the races, when the bets were made. And the bets were usually for a gallon of rum. Um, and they came out at the end of the day and they raced their horses. Now here we are up to where we're going to start this race. And from where we started at this video to here, it's 80 rods long. It's a quarter mile. There'll be a line drawn across the road here. And the starter will drop his hat or yell go. And the horses will trot down this road. And one will be crowned uh, the Morgan Mile champion. Um, in harness and one will be crowned the Morgan Mile champion under saddle. Now sweepstakes and Silvertail were the two horses from New York that the Justin Morgan horse trotted against or raced against um, on this road. That, that's the most famous race um, that's known that this horse did. And it, the scenery here is beautiful. You know you can see the the hills um, on that hillside and there's some cows on that hillside and if we can pan around to this side, there are some horses, the horses that were doing the trail ride before. Um, you can see how far down they are and how this road extends. We don't trot, we don't race this section of the road. Um, but I'm, I'm sure they raced at some point in time. They're, they raced all this section, you know, a road. We don't on the Morgan Mile, on the trotting races. We race just what I show you. This is the starting line and this is above 
on the Morgan Mile Road. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this and we're going to get in the truck and we're going to try to give you a view as we drive up the road what this road looks like up farther and beyond all the way up to where the town has closed the road down. And you know we're going to continue this series from that point we'll go up on that road to show you where the road's been closed and how it laid 200 years ago and then we'll actually go beyond where the town opens it up again it turns into another name another i think it's the neighbor road or i can't remember the name of the road exactly but it changes into another road and we will show you where justin morgan the man himself lived 200 years ago so let's go on uh, we'll get let's get in the truck and let's take a tour up to the other end of the road until it shuts it's shut down by the town Thank you. 